You still complaining though? Yes, I'm you still complaining. complaining. My mom is sitting in the front. That's why you're in the back. What's the problem though? I should be in the front. Why? 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 She's my mother. All right, and I should be in the front. This is not just your car. This is my car too. What you difference does it make whose car it is? I don't understand why you have such a fucking problem with me being in the front. I'm a shorty. Big deal. I'm his fucking mother. If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't even be here. Exactly. I wouldn't even what be the here. Fuck? Hey guys, and welcome to Real Talk with Alvin and Latina. This is Alvin. And I'm Latina. So what you guys just saw was a video from Facebook from a couple and a mother. I guess they're on their way somewhere. And in the video, it questioned who's right about sitting in the front seat. The boyfriend and mom were really aggressive, in my opinion, towards his girlfriend, which I feel was definitely wrong. And I also feel like the mom should have been sitting in the back. She tried, to, they tried to use the excuse of if it wasn't for her, he wouldn't even be here in this world, which is also true. Very true. Nobody's taking that from him or taking that from you, but he didn't ask to be here. He didn't ask for you to spread your legs and get pregnant and give birth to him. You did that all on your own. So he don't owe you nothing. In my opinion, I feel like if they are going so hard over a front seat, there's no telling what they're not going to back off on. He he clearly does not have his girlfriend's back is what I'm getting from this. So they're wrong. She's right. She shouldn't be having to sit in the back seat. His mom should be in the back and grateful that she's getting a ride. I, what I want to say is, first and foremost, I'm going I'm to start off by, like, asking my wife if, if she okay with going to the back seat. And in most instances, this is our new channel. We're not going to agree a lot of the time, but in this case, my first initial thought is the mom and the son is way out of pocket. Uh, uh, the mom start cracking a joke, and he starts shiming in on it. You could tell he was about to add his two cents to what his mom said. Hold up. Don't disrespect mine. Right. I, I mean, yeah, she's sitting in the back, and she already upset, and I'm going to have to go home and deal with this. If this is somebody I'm ser serious with. Clearly, they're not serious. They're just boyfriend, girlfriend. So me and my wife, we're married. So if it came down to it, I want my wife to be up front with me while I drive. And I, my mom, like, I don't want to sit in the back. It's too crampy. I want my leg room. Me and my wife look at each other like, can yeah, I mean, if you want, I'll sit in the back while you drive. It would have been a decision to be made. There's other ways around. Like, why didn't the, why didn't the boyfriend get in the back and let the the girlfriend drive? Right. I if mean, you really felt like your mom needed to be in the front. Yeah. There's, there's I just feel like this video is a very good example of what our society and what younger couples are today, and why the divorce rate happens happens to be so high, and why relationships just don't work no more because. People don't understand that once you get in a relationship, it's you and that person. It's not you and your mom no more. Your mom has to understand that she's not the number one if you're serious about somebody. Yeah, now, if it's every Becky and Jane that you having the, sex with, then, yeah, that's different. This situation is boyfriend and girlfriend. Right, though, and so. she made it clear, like, this is our car, not your car. And that would make a little bit of a difference. Like, he could have said that to her, like, this is my car. I want my mom to sit in the front, you sit in the back. Bo I still feel that would have been disrespectful, but at least it would have been his car. Boyfriend and girlfriend will replace you. Uh, he the boyfriend, you the girlfriend, and you the girlfriend trying to say, uh, this is our car. Well, on to the next one. I'll get another car with somebody who will sit in the back without no complaints. Right. One that's just going to listen to what you say. Me, I married the woman I married for a reason, and I'm not stereotyping or trying to put culture on it but married a black woman on purpose because she has a backbone and she'll tell me exactly how she feel and i'm not saying that anybody outside of that race does not have that but that's why i, I, I married my wife i mean i know that there have been times where um alvin and i have taken my mom somewhere and she sat in the front seat whether i dro drove or he drove um, but that's just a decision that we made together. It wasn't like my mom felt she deserved or was owed the front seat because she gave birth to me. Like that's not, <laughs> that's not even that. I don't even know why that was brought up. If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't be here. You right. And I thank you for allowing him to be here. I thank you for making the decisions in your life that you made that 
allowed me to have this relationship with your son. But I don't owe you nothing and neither do he. He don't owe you the front seat just because you gave him his life. That was a decision you made. And I think a lot of younger mothers and grandmothers are like that. They feel like they are still number one in their son's or daughter's lives when it comes to them being in a relationship. My parents are only in their 50s, which is not that old, but they still understand just because of the way that they were raised that once you go off and decide to be an adult, because being in a relationship means that you're an adult. And when you decide to buy a car with somebody, get a car with somebody, get a place with somebody, spend most of your time with somebody, that's a relationship. That's a commitment to somebody that your parents can't be a part of. Well, if they are young, um, hopefully this is a growing situation. Maybe he'll hear this and rethink what he's doing. But hopefully it's a learning experience for him because I know when he got home with her, if she even... Cause it looked like it was getting so heated, she was ready to get out the car. Like, uh, I get out then. If it ain't mine, if I can't sit in the front seat. But if it made it home, wherever they stay, he got an earful. Like, what you mean? Your mom do not come before me once right. you commit it to me. But like I said, it's girlfriend boyfriend thing. And how old are they? I mean, you can be twenty three, you can be thirty, and still don't understand what an adult is. An adult is not something you can say. I am. It's an action. And something, too, that I think could make a difference in this situation is if they're living with her, if they're living with his mom, then it's like, okay, yeah, ma, you can have the front seat. You letting us stay with you. Now, that is something that she could have thrown out. But throwing out that you gave birth to him, that was umpteen years ago because I'm sure he's at least 20. So over 20 years ago, I we don't owe you the front seat. But if you letting us stay in your home and you ask us for a ride, yes, you can have the front seat. I mean, it is, it's a petty situation. It shouldn't have gotten to this point. It shouldn't have got on Facebook asking who's right, who's wrong. But in my opinion, I think he and his mother are wrong. Um, I think they way out of, they were ganging up on it. Right. And, and not even when her mom cra- or his mom cracked a joke, he was starting to shine man on Right. It. And not even that of ganging up on her. It was just, it was disrespectful to her from him on what she was saying because his mom has every right to say whatever she wants to say. But when you, as her other half, is sitting there and allowing that to be I said, been, Ma, chill. You ain't, that's that's you, where you're being Ma, disrespectful. Chill. You, you in the front seat already. I, don't, I, don't, I want to talk to her about right. it. I got this. You don't have to say nothing to her. Stop talking to my mom because y'all too heated and I don't want words to be said that aren't meant. It was just out of anger. I don't want y'all to clash. But mine, you already got the front seat, so let me deal with her. We we know we agree with each other, so why do I need you to say anything? Because we're saying the same right, thing. Right, right. And I mean, and that's why you see moms outside fighting with their daughters on teenage girls and stuff. Like, moms need to really back off once your child gets to 18. Because at that point, it's time, if you haven't already, it's time for you to start letting them be an adult. Start letting them take care of their own issues on their own, whether it is fighting somebody or sitting in the front seat or whatever it is well let us know in the comment section what you guys think um we expressed how we felt let us know who you think was right who was wrong him and his mama was way wrong was not feeling it it made me feel uncomfortable listening to him and his mom talk about her like that like really did not have to say much at all mom right sit sit in the uh passenger seat like he was asking like I said, we already agree, so we're saying the same thing. Why do we have to be so redundant about it? It's, like, unnecessary. But in the comment section, let us know how you guys feel, whether you disagree or agree. Let us know with a thumbs up if you like this real talk with Alvin and Latina. This it, just will allow us to put out more content. Yeah, if you would like to continue. And in the uh, comment section, let us know what you would like us to view and give our opinion on. And we'll react to it, I guess. Talk to, talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll give you the real talk. With Alvin and Latina. If you guys like this video, let, let us, us know, know with a thumbs, thumbs up. If, if you're not subscribed, subscribed to our, our channel, channel, go ahead and hit, hit that, that button. button. We love you so much. For watching and, and listening. We'll, we'll talk to you in, in the, the next, next one. one.